Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about scleroderma, Crest syndrome, and Raynaud syndrome. During this presentation, we learn how to differentiate scleroderma from Crest syndrome and how to make the difference between primary versus secondary Raynaud syndrome. We start by scleroderma. It's a chronic multi-system disease. It's a thickening of the skin caused by the accumulation of connective tissue, involvement of several organs like GI tract, lungs, kidney, and vascular obliteration and fibrosis of fingers, of fingers tip renal. GI tract, kidney, lungs, and skin. To make the diagnosis of scleroderma, we need at least a radio phenomenon and skin thickening. We can't make a diagnostic without these two. GI tract in scleroderma is like a, a, a calasia of the esophagus, but it's an esophageal hypomotility or dysmotility with bowel dilatation. Pulmonary is the most common cause of death. Why? Because fibrosis leads to pulmonary hypertension. Crest syndrome, think about pulmonary, pulmonary hypertension. Kidney are affected in scleroderma. We recognize the renal crisis, aggressive acute renal failure, by malignant hypertension. We can treat that by angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE. They modify the prognosis. How to make the diagnosis? Clinical picture plus ANA, anti-nuclear antibody, SCL17. It stands for scleroderma 17. What is Crest syndrome? It's a subcategory of scleroderma. A second name is limited scleroderma. Crest stands for C, calcinosis, calcination over the arm, R for renal, E for esophageal dysmotility, S for sclerodactyly, and T for telangiectasia. The picture of telangiectasia and the picture of renal phenomenon. Here is about sendodactylia uh, and esophageal dysmotility. This picture is about calcinosis, which is accumulation of calcium in the skin. In Crest syndrome, skin involvement does not extend above the elbow or above the knee. Scleroderma, it doesn't extend above the elbow or above the knee. It's limited by opposition to scleroderma in which it can affect all part of the skin in the body. To make the diagnosis of Crest syndrome, clinical picture plus anti-centromere antibody. In Crest syndrome, the prognostic is much better because the disease progresses slowly. Pulmonary arterial hypertension does not go to fibrose in this case. The interstitial lung disease is only, is only 10%. What about a Raynaud phenomenon or a Raynaud syndrome? It can affect over 5% of the normal population. It's characterized by a pallor, cyanose that respond to cold, emotion simidi. There is a vasoconstriction that gives blue fingers tips. It's more commonly seen in women. 
primary versus secondary uh, secondary is associated with other systemic disease must come in with scleroderma how to make the difference clinical presentation plus blood test look for systematic manifestation primary reno doesn't have any organ involvement if a patient comes with creatinine look for systemic because the kidney are involved nile fold capilloscopy look for evidence of vessel dam damage in nile because vessels are distorted dilatation that point to secondary system if nile are affected Reno look for secondary cause capillaroscopy by examination of the nail let's review diagnosis of scleroderma is clinic picture plus ana anti nuclear antibody slc70 for crest syndrome is anti centromere antibody crest syndrome stand for calcinosis reno esophageal dysmotility sclerodactyly and telangiectasia to make the difference between scleroderma and crest skin involvement does not extend above the elbow and above the knee in crest syndrome it is limited by opposition to scleroderma the disease can affect the whole body organ affected in scleroderma are gi tract kidney lung and skin ace inhibitor they modified the pronosic because we we give the ace inhibitor to kidney uh, for to reduce the hypertension and the pronosic of kidney it's better for reno syndrome we use instead calcium channel broker please support the channel by this ebook thank you for watching this episode of medicine in three minutes would like to click the button like and subscribe your suggestions are very welcome thank you